Hey Dan with SWI here. We wanted to show you guys how to fabric a chain link gate. We're going to use this thingy. It's called a bear hold. This one is inch and three eighths. Brown is inch and five eighths. Blue is inch and seven eighths. Yellow is two and three eighths. Orange is two and seven eighths. White is four inch. We're going to use the blue one because our gate is an inch and seven eighths gate frame. When we make our chain link gates, what we do, our chain link swing gates, we make them two inches shorter than what they, what the normal, what the normal fabric height is. We're going to take these 70 inch or six foot tension bars and we're going to cut two inches off of them. Safety. See how I didn't lose any fingers? I've done this a time or two. We're gonna stuff our tension bar down our chain link like that. If we were to go ahead and put chain link up in the field, we're still gonna match that half a diamond at the top rail there. There's one tension band. We're gonna put five on each side. So since we did shrink the gate, you're gonna have one that's a little odd. We're gonna go four on the last two. So you got one, two, three, four. That would be your half. Then you start over, you go one, two, three, four. You got a half there. So now you got a whole one again. You go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I know what you're thinking. You, you, come on, let's see the bear hold. We're getting there. Hold on one second, just bear with me. We don't have the nuts and bolts sucked down, but that's fine. Uh, right now, we just want to go ahead and put some stretch to this. They work best in pairs. So we're going to use one here. After we put that one on, we're going to one you we're going to put one on about down here. We want the center of the first diamond to be in the center of the top rail. So when we put that first bear hold on, we got to pull the fabric up just a little bit past where we want it to be. So that way when we stretch it, it's gonna bring it down and bring it where it's supposed to be. Because as you notice right now, I'm stretching it and it's pulling that fabric down that direction. But now it's 100% correct. This is where the tension bar is gonna go. So we're gonna put it there. And then we're gonna, and that little U shape right there, we're gonna put the receiving side of the pipe. So again, we're gonna bring it up just a little bit. Bring the handle down and it locks into place. Again, we're gonna grab five tension bands. We're gonna do it a four and a half spacing. Do another four. And then down here, we can't quite get one on yet because we need to stretch that with another bear hold. So now we're gonna go ahead and take off that first bear hold. So as you can see, the bottom's free. It's locked in right here. It's just brought half mooned around that pipe and it's catching right here. That's where it's locked in at. So now we're gonna take this and just jerk up on it like that a little bit. It'll pop it free. So now we'll put it on down here. But you're not supposed to put the bear hold where you want to put the tension band. I'm sorry. So the bear holds are really good for gates. What else are they really good for? Interior cages, such as really short runs. You don't have to break out the pole jacks and then suck them down all the time. Half inch socket. I can't get any squeeze out of that. And you can see the gate flex actually flip up when I was putting the tension on the gate. It's, it's good, it's snug. You're either gonna be really tight or you might be a little bit on the loose side. You can't control it because you're dealing with a certain dimension 
and you only have so much fabric. You can't stretch it just a little bit more or put a little bit of slack into it to accommodate it because it's not a long run of chain length. If you're dealing with something really smaller, such as like two feet, uh, that's where you're gonna be limited to how tight you can get it. And if you get it so tight, then you're gonna start stretching those diamonds out and it's just not gonna look right. Remember how we said that the, uh, all of our, this is wrong? It's all two inches too long down here. We're actually gonna cut them. We're gonna take our nines, we're gonna take our Klein nines, tool of. We're gonna take them and we're gonna set the cutting face and we're gonna cut this first knuckle off. That one was supposed to get cut there. Now, we're gonna cut there. This one is an odd man out, it's all by itself. So it gets cut a half a diamond lower. And then we bend it back to make it look nice and clean. And then we're just gonna keep trimming right there. Why do you make your gate shorter than the actual fence is? Let's say that you're on top of concrete. So if you're on top of concrete and your chain link is really close to that concrete because your homeowner or your contractor wants it that close, you gotta shorten it just a little bit so that, that way everything, the gate can open freely and not drag on the ground or the concrete. See how easy? What did I just do? I, let's say I cut like 20 of those. It was easy, I didn't even break a sweat. Good housekeeping is key. So this thing is called, hold on, a knuckle twist tool. So we're gonna take this tool, and we're gonna stick it right on there. So it slides right over it. And it re-knuckles it for you. If you're making your own gates and you don't have one of these, they're pretty nice. So now that we did the top and we bent it over and over and over and over, now we're gonna do the bottom and fold it under and under and under. You're gonna turn your tool that way. It works really well. Sometimes, occasionally, you do have to break out the nines, but not all the time. So the last thing we gotta do is we just need to put some ties on the gates. Easy twist ties on everything. Why? Because they hold for one, and they're fast. I wasn't snacking. We're gonna put two ties on the gate per rail. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So four and five, you're gonna have an odd man out somewhere. Remember, if you are using easy twist ties, make sure and put your drill on one and put it in the highest gear that it can go on the drill speed. Now that we got our gate done, I saw some comments on the Easy Twist ties about are they safe and do customers complain about them? Easy Twist ties are safe and they're 100% secure. They're the most secure tie that you can get out there. But to make them extra safe, what we do around schools, playgrounds, and residential homes that have chain link fences installed on them, is we'll knock that tie back to that chain link. And the purpose of that is is because if somebody was to come up, you know, and bonk their head, they would just hit the top rail at that point. They can't, they can't run their hand past it and hit that tie, and they can't come up to the top rail and hit that tie either. And you can go around, and knock them in with your set of nines, or you can actually take a real hammer, and you can go around, and knock them in with that. That's how 
you fabric a chain link gate with a bear hold and you knuckle your chain link fabric with a twist knuckler. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, you have a good dang day.